So currently I'm doing a review for a wireless mesh system so stay tuned that video will be coming out soon but uh, during the process I came across the Wi-Fi analyzer application and decided to uh, share with you guys now I did know of it or applications that does similar things I was really impressed because this was actually very helpful in making sure you're on the right channels making sure that you get the best performance out of your wireless so let's go ahead and launch it I am using my Android device on this one so I'm going to go ahead and give it a five star rating because it, it truly deserves it. So here's the screen that you greeted with guys. And uh, if you notice up top, you can toggle between your 2.4, which is on right now, and your five gigahertz network. All right. So pretty cool. So I'm going to dive into that a little bit where you want to make the switch. Um, but let's start with a 2.4. So so within here, you can see all the Wi-Fi networks that's within my range. And if you look on the left side, this is the strength or the signal strength. So the higher the decibel or negative 30, the better the signal. So is the best signal strength. When you go down to negative 60, you see the second rock space and negative 90. And the one at negative 90, the Wi-Fi switch, and that's a neighbor's access point. So that's how far away it is. And that's how um, negative 90 is probably unusable, guys. That's um, really terrible signal. But I want you to pay attention to the channels on the bottom. You can see on channel 1, we have um, one of the rock space. We do have the Wi-Fi switch on channel 1. Channel 6, we have another rock space. Channel 8, we have the Mojo and a couple of other devices. So this is where you guys can actually do something about the issues that you're having with the Wi-Fi. So if channel 8, for instance, is overloaded, you can go ahead and move to a channel that's less crowded, which will help with your Wi-Fi speed as well as your coverage, which I think is big. So let's switch over to the 5 gigahertz and we're going to see something similar. All right, so rock space right here. We have all three of them on channel 40. All right, and the reason why they're so spread out because the, within the mesh system, one is in the office where I am right now, one's downstairs, one's upstairs in the bedroom. And that's intentional because as you move around the house, it will go ahead and automatically hand off to the closest device. So that's how mesh system works. But you can see um, Mojo right here, it's on channel 100 and that's by itself. And we do have the neighbor's Wi-Fi, which is on 150 or 151 it looks like. So what I did earlier is move Mojo to channel 100. That way it'll be by itself. All right, so I'm gonna switch back to the 2.4 gigahertz. So with a 2.4, you're gonna be more limited because you have less channels to choose from. And I'll show you that when we jump over to my router. All right, so let me just swipe to the right. So the next one is the graph, and basically it's just a real-time graph of what signal strengths you're getting. So if you guys were on this screen and you moved around the house, you should see your signal strength moving up and down, essentially. So it shows you the color right here with the corresponding network, and that way you can just, at a quick glance, look what your signal you're getting and see how it fluctuates when you move around the house. All right, so we're gonna go over to the next one. So this one, very, very important and very cool, guys. So we're on the 2.4 gigahertz and it's telling you that, hey, the following channels are good channels for you to connect a new access point to. So if you guys are going to buy a new access point, it tells you below that channel three, channel four, channel 10, as well as channel 11 is the best channels to put your new device on. So notice for the 2.4 gigahertz, you have channels one through 14. If we switch to the five gigahertz, you can see we have a lot more channels to choose from guys. All right, so same basic concept. Hey, these channels with the eight star, whatever, these are the best channels to connect to currently. So that view is pretty cool. But if you go right here, you can essentially see the same thing. Um, you can see that channel 44 through 64 is essentially empty. 116 is by itself. So you can kind of see where um, those gaps are. And those usually are the best channels to connect your access point to or to move your device if your device is overcrowded. And the last page, and I'll have to blur all the MAC addresses out. So it um, gives you some basic information, guys. Um, the MAC address, your IP address, how far you are away from the device so the seven meters is essentially how far you are from that access point also um, gives you your channel the channel that you're currently on and it also tells you what security you use in to uh, essentially secure that network on the router, I did go ahead and already move a couple of things, guys, but um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, this is my five gigahertz up top, so it's currently on channel 100. And let me switch it here on the phone. It's currently on channel 100, and when people are saying, hey, 
2.4 is crowded. That's because if you look at 2.4 band, you're going to have all kinds of things in there and you only have 14 channels to deal with. Uh, however, if you go into 5 gigahertz, a lot more channels to move your network on. So pretty cool. So looking at my 5 gigahertz, like I said, I already moved it to 100. It's out there. It's pretty clear. There's nothing in there um, overlapping or interference. So not much movement to do here. But if you click on the drop down, you can see all the channels that's essentially available um, for you to move this on. So I'm going to go down to my 2.4 um, network I'm gonna click and you can see we have channel 1 through 11 here and and if I switch through on the phone um, it's not directly lined up with the rock space but um, there is some overlap right here not a lot of movement here maybe I can move it to channel 4 but we're still gonna have overlaps so I do feel like it's in the best spot for now and like I said the 2.4 gigahertz you're not gonna have a lot of options to play with but essentially your router should have a, a screen that looks similar to this where you can go in Select your channel, hit apply, and it should go ahead and either reboot or it takes some time for your settings to take place. So um, that's basically it for this video. Like I said, this is a very cool application. This is called Wi-Fi Analyzer. It is available on your Android as well as your um, iOS devices. It is free, but they do offer a paid version. But if you guys like it and want to go ahead and go pro, here are some of the um, features that are added. So no ads, Wi-Fi diagnostics, support and updates, advanced settings, so filter access points, aliases, and much more. So if you guys like this, I do feel like this is a, a decent tool, but for me, I can essentially accomplish what I need to using this application, using the free version of this application at least. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this application. This is Wi-Fi Analyzer. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm <laughs> sorry.